Terrifying close calls happen all the time, often when nobody is around to witness. Sometimes, though, somebody is filming at just the right moment to capture something incredible on film. From a massive sinkhole opening up in the middle of a busy intersection, to a powerful and fierce tornado tearing through a crowded Chinese city, here are five terrifying close calls that were caught on camera. The northeast region of India is a place full of beautiful and diverse landscapes. Here, you will find everything from towering mountains to snowy wilderness. With this diversity comes a lot of different natural disasters. But perhaps one of the most devastating that plagues the region are rock falls. Rock falls are pretty much exactly what they sound like. It's like a landslide, but instead of land, it's giant boulders that come crashing down. On July 25, 2021, a man in the Batseri village captured one of these rock falls on film. The video starts off as soon as the rock fall begins. At the top of the mountain, you can see dust and debris. It's hard to make out exactly what is going on. A little while later, the rocks come tumbling down the hill, destroying everything in their path. Filming the video said that once he realized what was happening, he knew he needed to take cover. He retreated further back into a building, but even this may not have been enough. Rock after rock came crashing down, each one a bit closer than the last. The highlight of the video actually happens right at the end, when we see one of the boulders come crashing down right on top of an iron bridge, sending it crumbling into the river below. While everybody in this video was uninjured, the same can't be said for a few others in the small town. Nine people sadly lost their lives during this event. When you think of sinkholes, one place that probably doesn't come to mind is Japan. The country isn't necessarily known for them, but when this massive one opened up right in the middle of a busy intersection, it had locals very alarmed. <laughs> The sinkhole opened up on November 8, 2016, just after 5 a.m. local time in the city of Fukuoka. Thankfully, it opened slowly, allowing people to evacuate the area before it all caved in. Officials in Japan have stated that the cause of this 30 by 27 meter sinkhole was construction work on an underground line. For this to happen in the middle of a busy city intersection, it surely is a cause for concern. Locals were worried that other sinkholes would open in other parts of the city, perhaps with less warning. Thankfully, this seems to have been an isolated incident. What was perhaps even more impressive than the sinkhole was the time it took to fix it. Crews worked around the clock to repair the broken pipes and fill in the hole. About one week later, the road was opened back up for traffic. Given the size of the sinkhole and the repairs needed, this was a rather impressive feat of Japanese work ethic. In the end, nobody was injured in this disaster. Base jumping is a sport that very few people are able to experience. For starters, you typically need to complete at least 200 skydives before being allowed to jump. And on top of that, it's pretty damn terrifying. There is a real danger to the sport that isn't present with skydiving. If base jumping in a city, you have other buildings to watch out for while also having far less time to open your parachute. In September of 2014, a group of people went to the top of the Manara Kuala Lumpur Tower in Malaysia to go jumping. It was a sunny day and spirits were high. If you're at all familiar with this channel, then you know just how dangerous and terrifying tornadoes can be. They are one of the most unbelievable forces of nature, and as these people in China learned, one of the most destructive. Far up in northern China lies the city of Kaiyuan. With a population of over 600,000 people, this definitely is not one of China's largest cities, but it's far from small. On July 3, 2019, the city was abruptly hit with a powerful tornado that damaged over 4,000 homes. 
Footage captured by locals shows the tornado as it tore through the city, flipping cars and destroying property. We have shown many tornadoes on this channel, but this may be the first one featured that hit right in the middle of a densely populated city. It started around 5.15 p.m. local time and only lasted about 15 minutes. Many residents were caught off guard because the tornado formed rather fast, as they tend to do. The storm destroyed 250 acres of crops and thousands of homes. 200 people had to be rescued, while another 1,600 were evacuated. China as a country isn't really known to experience many tornadoes. They get between 10 and 100 each year, but they're not often severe, making this not only a devastating event for the city, but a rather rare one. Along the western coast of Portugal lies the small town of Nazaré. Nazaré is a popular tourist destination for many reasons. It has great weather and pristine beaches. But the main reason many people travel here every year is that it is also home to the largest waves found anywhere on Earth. Thanks to the underwater Nazaré Canyon, this town is home to not only record-breaking waves, but also many surfing records. Up until about 10 years ago, this small community was unknown to even the most prominent big wave surfers. That all changed when a 52-year-old man was tipped off by locals, and the rest is history. One look at the size of the waves is enough to make you wonder why anybody would go near these waters, but they do. When you're dealing with waves of this magnitude, things are bound to go wrong from time to time. And that's exactly the situation professional surfer Tiago Jacare found himself in. Video filmed in December of 2018 shows Jacare as he rides one of the waves. Suddenly, he hits a bump in the water and falls off. From here, it only gets worse. Jacare is only able to reach the surface in time for a short breath before the next wave comes crashing down. His teammate, surfer David Langer, is unable to rescue him because he is located right in the impact zone. After five monster waves crash into him, he is finally rescued and brought to shore. That's a white pot. No, no, it's not Tapia, it's the guy that's with Langer. Oh, he's gonna take this one on ahead. Oh, and there's another one. And Langer, we're not gonna make it there in time. Where is he? Can you see him? Oh, he's there. And there's another one. He's completely old. Sebastian got him. In total, Jacare was at the mercy of the ocean for nearly two whole minutes. One look at the ferocity of the waves makes you wonder how he survived, but he did, albeit while quite exhausted. With each wave that passes, he gets sucked underwater, barely able to resurface to breathe before the next one comes crashing down. Seeing videos like this makes you wonder if people die here all the time 
but they don't. In fact, nobody has ever died while surfing at Nazare, which, if you ask me, is quite impressive. Thankfully, Jacare escaped this dangerous situation uninjured. Terrifying close calls happen all the time. Whether it be luck or good timing, the people in this video were able to escape these situations alive with quite an unreal story.